Joining us now is family and emergency physician Dr. Jeanette Neshwant. Dr. Neshwant, the CDC, thanks for coming. The CDC My warning pleasure. Americans that uh, health experts here, um, they, uh, they foresee this deadly coronavirus spreading in the U.S. I want to show you this and get your thoughts. Now, it's not so much a question of if this will happen anymore, but rather more a question of exactly when this will happen and how many people in this country will become infected and how many of those will develop severe or more, dif uh, more uh, complicated disease. So what she's saying here, and I'll recap it, it's not where, but when. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Is, is that a frightening response when you hear? No, absolutely not. We have to be proactive. We know, just like the flu, viruses are highly infectious and highly contagious. It's going to spread, but it's a matter of being prepared. That is the key. Being prepared, having enough hospital resources, having PPEs, personal protective equipment, ensuring that health care providers are educated and know how to handle patients that come in. For example, last night I had two patients come into the office. They had just traveled from Italy. They were concerned for coronavirus. I followed the guidelines, the protocols from the CDC, uh, from the Department of Health, before I even went in the room, gowned up masks, gloves. These patients were isolated. We took a detailed thorough history. They had none of the symptoms, no chest pain, no shortness of breath, no fever, no respiratory distress. So what did we do? They're in a gown. I'm sorry, they're in a mask. We isolated them. They're on 14-day quarantine, and we're going to check on them. So it's a matter of taking precautions. Yes, we're going to see more cases, but we shouldn't be alarmed. We should just be aware and be vigilant and, to, and continue um, with our strategic multi-layered screening process and preventative measures that we're taking. Well, you mentioned the, the, those patients that you saw there. Um, they are quarantined. Where, where are they being quarantined? Self-home quarantine because they had no symptoms of uh -huh. coronavirus, which are shortness of breath, respiratory distress, fever, uh -huh. chest pain. One with a gentleman, just a little bit of a sniffle. But you make a quarantine um, either way, or self-quarantine. Yep, yep, So that just means they stay at their home, they don't leave their correct, home. Correct, correct, because they were not considered positive or had any of the risk factors. Um, but we're just still, we're going to take precautions but with them. But you still, it's, it takes, what does it take, 14 days to get results from it? 14 days, up to 14 days for symptoms to appear. Uh -huh. But really, when, by the time they came in and saw us, they're like, I'm feeling much better. I feel really good. I just had a little bit of sniffle. So what we did is we swabbed them for flu to make sure that they didn't have flu. And guess what? Tested positive for flu. But right. we still mm -hmm. took the proper precautions. Flu symptoms can mimic um, COVID-19 symptoms, but you still have to take precautions, follow CDC mm -hmm. guidelines and protocols to prevent the spread of any virus. We're now seeing 57 confirmed cases in yes. the U.S. Okay, in the grand scheme of things, and even compared to your average flu, should we be as concerned as we might be about Coronavirus? So that's a good question, Emma. And most of those cases were from the Diamond Princess cruise ship because their quarantine failed. Uh, if we eliminate those cruise ship cases, we only have about 15 cases in the United States. That's incredible. That shows that we have a very robust, healthy uh, health care infrastructure in this country. And we are doing an amazing job. President uh, Trump and his administration are doing a great job of containing it um, with their preventative measures, screening patients when they come in from the airport, um, making sure that no one's flying in from these countries. But is it more dangerous? It depends on if you have any underlying health care uh, uh, illnesses, such as diabetes, um, heart disease, asthma, you know, a recent surgery, then you're more at a risk of complications. But these viruses can affect anyone, young, old, healthy or not. Uh, but right now, the mortality rate is, is, still, is still low. All right. That is Dr. Jeanette Neshwant, a family emergency physician. I, great insight. Yes. I really enjoyed hearing that from you.